Okay, <clears throat> welcome to my uh, first Pythia tutorial. A few weeks ago I was asked, I think, uh, whether it's possible uh, to make some tutorial on this software. Uh, so in, in this part I want to explain you now how to install it and then in the following ones maybe uh, how to write your own code and uh, yeah, or take a look at some of the examples that have been written before. So today uh, it will be easy. Uh, we will just install it and then uh, test it uh, with one of the examples which are included. So the easiest way how you can install it is if you go to the main website, pythia.org, and you find uh, many things there. You find the documentation, you find update history. All these things are very important. You can also uh, download the code um, or directly on the main page you find this download link. So the only thing which you have to do here is to click on that and uh, then for example um, uh, save file save because now it will be saved in our download folder depending on how you configured uh, Firefox or your the browser which you are using uh, it will be maybe in the home folder in the download folder. Um, <clears throat> so then we can follow just the instructions as they are written here. So the first thing which I would like to do, I would like to go into my software folder because usually I like to install all software um, in this folder. Nevertheless, we will install it with sudo. Uh, so it will be then uh, without giving any prefix folder. So it will be installed uh, into our main system. And then later when we compile our example, for example, then it will be uh, much easier. So um, now after downloading the code, we can just uh, create a folder wherever we want to do it, uh, which maybe we call just Pythia. And then we go into that folder and then we can use this command, which is written here, tarxvfz. And then we have to, of course, uh, use, use the place where we have downloaded. So downloads, uh, Pythia 830 six dot uh, tgz and when we do that you can see it uh, extracts everything which is in inside and then we can go to our uh, folder which we created and then uh, it's not a CMake project like uh, most of the other things which I have compiled before but it's just the simple configure and make mechanism which you have to use so the first thing which you have to write is dot slash configure and hopefully it will not give you any error message. So what should be installed is of course a, a, a G++ compiler. So if you write something like sudo up install GCC, G++ and all that, maybe what you need is uh, automake uh, if this is missing, but when you have installed these packages, then it should not give you any error message. And uh, yeah, now the only thing which you have to do is uh, to make it. So you have to write make and this will take a little bit time. Uh, so uh, last time it was for me at least 10 or 15 minutes. So now I will stop uh, and uh, I will come back after the compilation has been done. So as you can see, the compilation process has finished. So um, it, we can just continue following the instructions on the Pythia website. Uh, however, it's not mentioned here, but I recommend to also install it uh, globally, uh, you can then later access it uh, when you write your own Pythia code. So what we will write here also is sudo make install. Then you have to type in your password and it just copies everything um, into the into the path like library, binary and so on of your software. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, then uh, you can later, um, yeah, you can use that uh, for testing it. Uh, with the example. So the installation process is basically now finished. So we go into the example folder in our Pythia um, uh, directory and there we could write just make but it will take a long time because it will compile all the examples I think. Therefore we will start with the easiest one <coughs> which is called main01. So we will write here make main01 and it doesn't give any error message. It means that the compilation and installation was successful. And then when you take a look, you get one more executable here inside, which you can just uh, start with the normal uh, way in Linux, uh, dot slash main zero one. And it gives you some output. <clears throat> and how does it, and, and how it works, and um, uh, what this output exactly means and so on. This will be then maybe covered in one of the next tutorials. 
uh, but for the time being the installation process is done. So I hope you stay tuned uh, and wait for some more videos to uh, coming to that. Then uh, see you later.